I'm not going to be adding anyone specifically to the name list during the stream. Um, if you want to specifically be on the name list, then you'll need to drop a comment into one of my YouTube videos. However, periodically, I will just randomly decide whether I'm naming someone from the stream or from the chat. Uh, sorry, from the name list. So you may find yourself being named that way. Hmm. Looks like we're mining out some ores here. We're doing some farming still. Oh, Snufkin. Kevin McLeod? No, that's MC Cloud. MacLeod, which is also pronounced McLeod, is the one I'm talking to you. I'll uh, actually type it in chat for you, Lost Snufkin. There we go. Right then, let us begin. Thank you very much, Siberian King. That is a fantastic way for us to begin. Now, we have our hospital, we have our ore stockpile, we should be smelting a bunch of stuff. Do we have designations for smoothing? Yes, we do. Very well. Dwarves, it has been stupidly long since the last time you did anything. Get out there and gather stuff. Oh my god, so many migrants. Ah, the migrants. My lord. Such a migrant. Uh, were those people only people, only migrants who died? No, I don't want to have a look at that. I want to have a look at the migrants. The bodies on the floor. Who are they? Muthkat. It is. Yeah, that's Muthkat. Okay, maybe all of this is Muthkat. Oh no, that's Erdim. And that is Toulon. That is right. Also, we've got Nakidna. Nakidna is dead. And Beko Slepnorain. My lord. Okay. Dr. Moriarty, it's confusing, Avak. The UK and Ireland need to go to war again over the spelling of MacLeod. Uh, please no. Right. Well, hopefully. Let's just double check on the alert status make sure that everyone is okay alerts we're all right active training the humid gorges and the ivory corridors okay we're good we need to get those burial chambers done very quickly though so let's add uh we're gonna want eight then add, we want a coffin, which is P. A P A P A P A P A P A P A P A P A P A P A P A P A Ah, how did an armor stand sneak in there? I clearly said up. Not whatever it is required for an armor stand, my lord. Now, let's have a look down there. We are still going fairly well, all things considered. I would like that to be uh, mined down sooner rather than later. Also, why is that blinking? This bridge needs masonry. Hmm. I believe perhaps. Let me uh, double check. Have we. Are all of these passable? Can people get out there? Yeah, people can get out there. Okay, well, we'll just wait for a little bit then. We're going to have an awful lot of uh, naming to do this early on, but I'm going to leave it for a little bit, and then we'll get to the naming. That's right, bring everything in. That That's what that's what we need. What have you got there? You've got a wheelbarrow. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Olaf Longbeard. It is enormously appreciated. Okay. A stray cow has given birth to a bull calf. Well, fantastic. Congratulations, mother cow. I can only hope that this will mean that you'll be producing more milk. I fancy... Let me just double check that this is actually raising the right way. It... Uh... I think perhaps it may be a good idea for us to uh, 
Designate, and then remove a construction. And remove these constructions. So that we can access that area properly. What's that moving around outside? Some sort of deer calf, I imagine, possibly. Or an, if it's an elk, we're going to try and kill it. Oh no, it's a stray horse. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so these areas are now ready. We want someone, anyone, to smooth with a very, very, very high priority. This. Boom. Get to smoothing. We want these areas smoothed immediately. I'm not going to put coffins in an area that isn't properly smoothed. Oh, Nebula Bomb is suffering from a cold and hopes that the stream will help his cold go away. I'm afraid that whatever the uh, charlatan witch doctors told you, my cold, my, my, my cold, my streams do not have cold curing properties. Hopefully they'll make you feel a little bit better whilst suffering with a cold, but that's about all they can do. If, however, it does turn out that they can cure the common cold, do let me know, because I'll be able to market it and I'll be rich. I'll be rich beyond my wildest dreams. I mean, I don't want to, to brag or anything, but if my streams cure the common cold, they, they will have to define a new word to explain how rich I will be. My lord. So yes, definitely let me know if that comes to pass. Don't keep it to yourself. It's okay. Just, just announce it in the middle of the stream. It's alright. I'm totally okay with that. Belial, Avak, stream title says not streaming for your information. Uh, for me, it says that it's Dwarf Fortress, so it's either an issue with you not having updated your stream or there being a cache. If not, then perhaps uh, Metasapia can have a look on that for me and update it if need be. Now, let's build some burial receptacles. These floors are nice and smooth. We will get... A Diorite Coffin. There we go. Let's let's get that one built. Dr. Moriarty says, Avax Stream is twice as effective as Echinacea. Call now and see if Avax Streams are right for you. He gets. It's one thing to say that my stream makes you feel better with a cold. It's another thing to actually list things that it's better than. Mind you, I suppose listing echinacea as a cure for anything is probably fairly safe. Uh, another burial receptacle, please. Rock salt coffin. A rock salt coffin? I'm going to bury you in a coffin made of rock salt. It'll be grand. Right. Use for burial. Yes. Get out there. Grab... People, bring them back. Put them in the coffin. This is what is required. Do it now. Also, please, someone go and build me that uh, drawbridge. Would be very, very happy. Unable to collect... Uh, cancels weave yarn into cloth. Needs one unused collectible collected yarn thread. Well... Thread. We've run out, it seems. Christopher the Engineer, Avak, might I request you build an Exterian Embassy at some point? You may request anything of me. Whether I acquiesce to such request, however, is an entirely different matter. And yes, I did just use the word acquiesce. If you don't know that word, become familiar with it. It's a fantastic word. It just feels right saying it. No matter how you're using it, whether you're using it right or wrong, acquiesce feels right. Did someone... Did... Did... What? Did... What? Did you just... I believe... These two idiots... Just hurled themselves down here... 
was trying to fix the bridge. And I think they've broken their hands and arms. <sighs> I'm really not sure what to do about that. Right, well... The first thing to do is simply to remove this bridge entirely. Clearly, something horrible has gone wrong with that. And I hope someone will march off and bring back those dwarves and take them in here. Where they can be properly cared for. Stupid miners. Or whatever they were. Oh, oh wait. No. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> That's my military. <laughs> they dodged out of the way. They're not my miners. They're my military. They were sparring, and they threw themselves down the, po the pit. That is, that is honestly fantastic in every possible way. Every possible way. But since a lot of people are complaining that Twitch is still not updated, I'll double check it for you. Let's have a quick look. Oops, let's pause that. There. Oh, Twitch, why are you be so buggy? Well, I've pushed through uh, an edit on that. It has said that it's updated, but it's not showing that it's updated. I'm really not sure what else I can do, honestly. So I'm afraid you'll just have to live with it. It shouldn't be that confusing for you because it's got Door Fortress in the overlay. All right, let's continue. Well, clearly, what I need to do is build this bridge again. Only I forget what uh, material I was using now. We are using slate. So, build G. We want a slate bridge about ye long. Mm, yes. All of the slate, thank you. And quickly, before the rest of my military hurl themselves to their doom. Alas! I assumed that as Metasapia was in the uh, chat, she would be able to update it for me, but perhaps she was having a little bit of trouble using the editor interface. But uh, on the dashboard... Since I've started streaming, it was reported that I was playing Dwarf Fortress, so, well, what can you do? And it's still apparently showing me that it isn't playing Dwarf Fortress on my Twitch. Twitch is being very, very unhelpful lately. If you haven't noticed, I think Twitch may be having a tantrum. Drassen, the surf, is there... Edenak, the cook. Really? Drassen? I'm surprised by that. Maybe I've lost more people than I realized. This is Muthak. Muthkat, rather. Alright, where are my miners, then? Have a look at you. Where are you? You're attending a party. You're on a break. You're detailing a floor. You're detailing a wall. Why are you doing these things instead of, you know, stuff that I actually need you to do? Like, uh, buildings and things. Let's cancel of that. Get to work. Get out there. Do other things. Ah, that's right. You've just picked up... A, oh, dear. You're going to go straight to the Mason's Workshop, aren't you? 
It's gonna be one of those days, really. Can't remind dwarves to do anything. Unless... Unless, perhaps... Are you on your way out there? I can't actually see where you are. I have no idea where you're going. I can see someone hauling stones, but... Uh, I don't know. But, it is time, I feel, for us to name the migrants. It, <laughs> we've let them sit around for long enough. Now, we are probably going to have a stupid amount of them. Because I saw an awful lot of migrants enter the fort. Many migrants. Possibly all of the migrants. Alright then. Endoc is an animal tra tra trainer. Ooh, actually, Endoc, you have a reasonably high animal training. High master animal t trainer. Well, I see no reason to mess with fate. Fate is the creed that you should be an animal trainer. So, very well. You shall be. Let's see. Customize your profession name first. I believe that's how we set them up. No, we need to have a space. It just wouldn't be right if I had them wrong. For obvious reasons, really. Right. Let's have a quick look at your thoughts. I've been well. He was afraid after experiencing trauma. He didn't feel anything while in conflict, really. He felt hopeless after suffering a major injury. He felt restless after being able to rest and recuperate. <laughs> well, it wasn't a very good rest then if you felt restless. His left true ribs are fractured. His left floating ribs are fractured. His right lung is dented. Oh my God. He's been through the wars. He's quick to heal, but he is quick to tire. Okay, he personally finds romance distasteful and sees competition as wasteful and silly. He dreams of crafting a masterwork someday. Well, I'm afraid you're not going to be doing that. Because you're going to be far too busy training our warhounds. And your name shall be... That Zombie. There we go, That Zombie. Named for That Zombie. Welcome to the fort. You, however, a hunter. You're an adequate ambusher. Do you have with you? Right, you're not going to be a cheesemaker. Do we actually have ambushers set up anyway? Because I would very much like that. Do we have anyone set up to ambush? I don't think we do. You may be the first. Datan Unosuravad. You are going to be our very first ambusher. You will not train animals or take care of them. You will trap. In fact, all of my animal caretakers will no longer do that either. You will also dissect animals. This makes sense to me. Very well, let us check you out. You were horrified after seeing Toulon Fountain Basins die, and were horrified after seeing Erdim Howl Bridges die. You were horrified after seeing the Minotaur Beck or Gristle Knight, the Blaze of Echoing die. Really, why were you horrified for that? You should have been filled with, with glee. He killed two other people right in front of you. Ah, oh, you silly dwarves. Uh... He personally believes that those who sacrifice for others should be deeply respected. Thinks it is for the utmost importance to present a bold face and never grouse. Complain or even show emotion and doesn't really see the point of working hard. Okay, fair enough. Right, you shall be. What, what, what name should we have? Hmm. We want a name that says Hunter but isn't actually Hunter because that's a default job title. And it'll confuse me. Wester here. Just wanted to say hi, Avak. We'll catch up on YouTube. What I've seen now looks great. May your dwarves be successful and the tea always tasty. Oh, thank you very much. That is a very good thing to 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 say. I I approve of this. That should be some sort of, of blessing slash greeting slash fond farewell saying from now on. But regarding the profession name. Hmm. 
Nebula Bomb has got a good one. Animal Harvester. But it's a little bit too... To the point, really. It needs to have a little bit of poetic feel to it. Or just comedy. Burnt Pies. A meat smith. <laughs> that would have been good for the butchery, actually. Um, Matten Gamesmith. Uh, that, that's actually not too bad. That isn't actually too bad at all. Hmm. Huntsmith? No. Eric Mack suggests Ranger, but I feel that Ranger may actually already be one of the default job titles, depending on what you do. Oh, the bro stump. Animal Musician. That would have been good for the, the Beastmasters, honestly. Like Pied Piper kind of kind of uh, direction. Ah, uh, Isda. Isda's got it. <sighs> Isda. Stalker. Avak. Cheeky Breaky. Yes, indeed. Very well. Stalker it shall be. And the name this time shall be Isda. <laughs> May as well be. I don't believe we've got an Isda in the photo already. I could be wrong. In fact, I should be able to search, I believe. Sort by name, tab. I would like you to sort by name. Boom. Does, does it sort by nickname as well? No? No, I, I actually don't think it does. Well, drat. Boom. No. Okay, fine. Right, the next one up. And thank you very much, Dion. Massively appreciated, mate. Right, Asin. What are you, Asin? You're a furnace operator. I don't need any more furnace operators. You're not even a very good one. Oh, my lord. If that's the only skill you have, are you good for the military? No, you're not even good for the military. Asin. You disappoint me. Hmm. Well, what are we setting up our serfs to do? Serfs literally do nothing. You know what? Serfs can pump operate and siege operate. That's what I want the serfs to do from now on. Let's go through the list and find all the other serfs. I want the serfs to do the uh, manual tasks of operating the pumps and operating the siege equipment. Now, you might think that that's a bad idea, having a serf operating... Uh, well, I was going to say trebuchet. <laughs> I only wish we could have trebuchets in this game. Alas, no. We can have only catapults and ballista. But uh, still... You might think that that's a bad idea, but generally speaking, siege engine operators are renowned cowards. They'll just, because they're in a civilian role, if they're doing it, because it's a civilian job, not a military one, so you don't want your military to be doing it, otherwise they, they won't. If you've got them with an actual order to stand guard or to attack something, they'll be a military personnel, so they'll ignore civilian jobs. So, uh... Generally not too bad to have them set up to just your your regular people just to use the pumps or the siege engine. Especially the pumps. I believe it trains strength. I could be wrong about that, though. All right, let's have a quick look at you, then. The last season, he felt satisfied at work. He felt a pleasure near a fine seat. Felt pleasure near a fine seat. Felt pleasure near a fine table. Felt pleasure near a completely sublime, tastefully arranged statue. Completely sublime. We did and weep. That is pretty much as sublime as one can get. He was horrified, though, after seeing the Minotaur, Bekor, the blaze of echoing die. He was horrified after seeing Toulon, Fountain Basins die, and after seeing Erdim, Howl Bridges die. Really? Why are you all horrified at seeing the Minotaur get his face punched in so hard that his head exploded by one of your military? You should feel very safe at this. You should be like, well, those other two died because the military weren't here yet, and they just were stupid and in the wrong place at the wrong time, really. Oh, well, kind of sucks to be them, but that's the way it is sometimes in, in this day and age. But I feel remarkably happy about living in a fortress where the military is so well trained they can punch minotaurs so hard that their heads explode. I just don't understand these words. I don't think I can relate to them at all. 
He personally values tradition, finds those that deny their impulse is somewhat stiff, and sees competition as reasonably important. Very well. You are a serf. And your nickname shall be... Mewball. There we go, Mewball23, you're now in the fort. Alright, we've got a... Ooh, wow, we've got someone with a decent skill here. Well, accomplished, actually. We've got someone... We've got a legendary leather worker. Okay, you're not really that good. Talented Glazier, though. That isn't too bad. Musharak, thank you very much indeed. Um... I mean, it's not too bad having a glazier, but at the same time, we've got one. I, I guess we could, but I feel that we've got so many artisans now. No. I'm afraid if you don't have any... Ooh, you've got some military skills. Ooh, ooh, competent dodger, competent shield user, competent armor. Okay. Now we're talking, competent fighter. We have a murdersmith candidate here. I think we should make them a murdersmith.